What's up, y'all? It's Julian Gordon from the Multifamily Movement, aka your property brother, aka Mr. Multifamily. And I actually just came here to one of my buildings to evict a tenant. Um, I served the five day notice last week, gave them seven days. Uh, they took advantage of the no eviction policy that occurred during coronavirus. Even though um, they stopped paying rent before coronavirus, I allowed them to use their uh, last month's deposit or their security deposit as their March rent. Then coronavirus hit, and they decided to take advantage of that and not pay rent for the past three months. Now, this was a tenant that I inherited, so I didn't get to screen this tenant. I'm really great at screening my tenants um, and who I allow into my properties. This one I inherited. Those can be some of the most difficult ones because you had no say. They came with the building. Um, but I came in, and they happened to be gone, so I don't have to take them to court and go through all that process and pay legal fees and things of that nature. And um, they were actually one of my lowest-paying tenants. There was only $600 uh, per month for this, even though this unit is worth probably $850 per month. So um uh three months what is that uh eighteen hundred dollars but ultimately they left the unit in good condition um which i'm grateful for i'm grateful for even though at the end of the day the business contract i was taking advantage of um a little fix is here they didn't they didn't do that that was how the building came um and so i gotta fix that there um really just need paint honestly i really just need paint and some touch-ups uh probably will uh change the counter the kitchen counter back here um, in sink and uh, some of the fixtures and things of that nature. But let me show you this, y'all. <laughs> Even though I was graceful to them, look at what they did. Burn the five-day notice on the stove. <laughs> Just doesn't make sense. Um, I was being compassionate to them. So I, I treat my tenants really, really well. I provide quality, affordable housing for folks. Uh, when my tenants treat me well, I treat them well. Um, and uh, yeah, I know there's a lot of beef between landlords and, and tenants, but my tenants absolutely love me because I take care of them. I respond as an ethical investor. I respond really quickly to things that they need fixed, um, to their calls and things of that nature. Uh, I'm lenient when I can be on, uh, you know, breaking up rent to pay weekly, things of that nature, like whatever it takes to make sure that this relationship works. Um, but again, when you inherit tenants with a building, um, you didn't get to choose them and they can be some of the most difficult. During the coronavirus, I had 27 occup uh, occupied units, only one tenant didn't pay and that was this tenant right here. So um, this is part of the game um, and you want to set aside your vacancy rate for one, transitions like this, but also for instances where tenants do not pay. Um, but again, when you screen properly, um, and you treat your tenants well, I found that uh, they are eager to pay. I had tenants pay early during the coronavirus. As soon as they got their uh, stimulus check or their unemployment, they were seeking to pay me, <laughs> driving, to, uh, driving to meet me to make sure that their rent was paid because they know that this is a relationship. I'm providing them with the service. Uh, so grateful that I don't have to go through the eviction process. Um, and this is water under the bridge. I'm not worried about this. I'm going to be renting this unit out for $250 more um, within the next 30 days. So it's all good. Um, this is just part of the game. And I want you to know the good side of the game, as well as some of the harder, more challenging parts. But at the end of the day, this is not hard. And this is it's $1,800. I'm not tripping. I'm not even going after them for it. It is what it is. I'm just going to keep moving forward. All right. So again, if you want to learn the game like this, go to multifamilymasterplan.com. I do a webinar there periodically where I'll show you how to finance, find, and finalize multifamily real estate deals just like this fiveplex that I'm here in off of Canal Street in New Orleans. And uh, yeah, again, that's multifamilymasterplan.com. Catch you later. Peace.